this is GNG Social Junior's channel. Uh, here's an old, old picture for you today. Uh, actually, this uh, picture is part of a wall mural in uh, one of the restaurants here in town. This is around 1951, give or take a year or two. Um, I'm going on strictly on ages of cars and memory. Now, this is the way this town looked when I was a kid. And uh, this is a night in New York. And way down at the end of the street, you can see the railroad tracks. Um, I'll see if I get narrow in on this. I don't know if this will point or not. I hope it is. There's the crossbars for the railroad tracks, which are no longer there, of course. Actually, the only thing that's any, any on this these streets at all, over here you see Hinman's Jewelers on the right, pretty well done. That sign is still there, and that jewelry store is still there. This was kind of cool here on the side, the parachutes. At night, that would go down. Each light would go individually. And uh, so it looked like the parachute actually went down. And it was a eating place in my room, if I remember right, correctly. Uh, okay, across the street, starting on your left there, there was a Rexall drugstore, of course that's gone now. Marks and, Shoe, or Marks and Brothers, they were a furniture store. Uh, there was a couple little shoe stores in here, and I don't remember what names, what, what, their, what their names were now. I know that we had uh, four shoe stores in this town. Anyway, uh, what else we got? Little box, way down here, there's a little booth, looks like a telephone booth. Well, the police officer used to stand in there, and he ran the red lights manually. The light that's down there, and there's another one uh, that uh, I'm zoomed in, so... Uh, you can't see the other one right now. I wanted you to get a look at the other end of this town. And this is this is the way Anita looked when I was a kid. I'm I'm gonna say I was probably about eight, seven or eight years old. But I remember these. Okay, I'm gonna put this on a, a pause done deal here and we're gonna I'll change some pictures around and get you some other pictures. Hang on. I am back with you again. Okay, I've, what I've did now is I've, I've unzoomed myself. You can I show you that other red light right here. So, so the police officer's down there in his little house. And he's running that red light and he's running that red light. This is before the days, the automatic ones. Now, this was fairly new because just like a, about a year before this or two, right here, Maybe a little circle that uh, police officers stood on and he directed the traffic. They didn't have a red light. That was probably around 1949, I would guess that. But anyway, um, this bank, Madison County Trust and Deposit, is long, long gone. There is a bank there now, uh, but this has all been remodeled. But there's really nothing else down to, down in our town anymore. It's all, it's all banks all the way down through. Uh, the old Marks and Brothers furniture, that's, that's gone, everything's gone. As I say, the only thing that exists, the same as it was, is down here where the arrow's moving, the Henman's Jewelry Store is uh, still there. Uh, all this other now from about in here, right on back up this way, that's all uh, just office space. There is no downtown. Uh, this is uh, from happier days. Uh, pretty near anywhere in the U.S. you could go and there'd be uh, little towns like this, little cities, and this is the way their downtown looked. Uh, here's Triangle Shoes over here. There's a Buster Brown shoe store somewhere over in here. Uh, I don't really remember where. I think it was a long boat in here somewhere. But um, And if, for those of you who don't remember Buster Brown, that's way back. The television commercials and the storefront commercials that uh, the cardboard they'd have in there. They had a little cardboard of this boy. He was all dressed in blue. And uh, he had a dog with him. And he, he'd be going, uh, I can't remember this. I've got to get the right saying down now. He'd go, hi, I'm Buster Brown. This is my uh, dog, Ty. We live in a shoe. And that was the, uh, that was their slogan. Anyway, I just thought uh, you might find this interesting that, uh, a whole lot to say about it. It's, 
was the happy times for me. I mean, this is the type, the stuff that we remember. It's back when everything was peaceful, quiet. Um, everybody got along. Uh, there was no, uh, you know, nobody seemed to, uh, I don't know, in those days, nobody really seemed, but up, up here anyway, nobody seemed to care, you know? I mean, what race anybody was or anything else. Everybody just got along. And, uh, as I wanted to show you, that's, that was quieter times. Well, thank you all for watching, and uh, I appreciate it. And uh, we took a little walk down memory lane together here. Thank you much. Please subscribe, and we'll catch you all later.